Welcome back to the last video of my most recent decks that I've built. Um, I actually bought the boulder, the purple one, for my Liliana deck, which I'm about to show off, but double-sleeved dragon shields do not fit in either the boulders, the 100 plus, or the 250 clear cases from the acrylic clears. So I had to go out and buy a Ultra Pro satin tower. I took off the little cube tray, the dice tray or whatever, because it's kind of pointless. I don't like it. But this thing is super tight. It feels pretty sturdy. It's pretty good. Um, but as you can tell, I don't have any room for extra cards. But this deck is all about Liliana. I made it Liliana themed. There's only two or three cards in here that have nothing to do with Liliana. Um, and that includes art, flavor text, or just history. Liliana's history. Um, but our commander, we're going with a promo Liliana heretical healer. Turns into Defiant Necromancer when she activates her spark. Pretty sweet. I love that card. Now, a little history about this deck. This deck started about five years ago when I started collecting every foil Liliana art and flavor text card created. And they have not, Wizards has not stopped creating Liliana cards. Um, it actually has one, one banned card in the deck, which we will get to. Um, so if people don't want me to play it, I usually just take it out and replace it with something like a I apologize about that. I know I can't work in these conditions. Um, sorry for the stand falling again. But I do believe that if they don't want me to play with Gristle Daddy, then I won't play with Gristle Brand. Um, I've got another demon um, that I usually play, Demon of Catastrophes. But I play it because Liliana's Contract is an alternate win condition. Uh, if I untap with this and four demons... On the battlefield, under my control, I win the game. So it's kind of sweet. And then I go into her demons that she was in con in contract with. Kothafed, alternate art. Gristlebrand, banned, alternate art. Razaketh, promo. Demon Lord, Balzalek, promo. And my favorite card art ever, Demonic Pact. Um, it does say you lose the game on it, but sometimes it's just really freaking satisfying to cast. I don't know. Uh, promo Liliana Vess. I have several of these promos. Uh, I do have a couple Planeswalkers that are non-foil. Liliana of the Dark Realms, Last Hope, Death Wielder, Amonkhet, uh, Starter deck, Planeswalker deck, Death Majesty, and the newest, Untouched by Death. So six Planeswalkers feels pretty good. Um, the most expensive card in the deck, Demonic Tutor, has Liliana with Kothafed. These are my non-foils because these are the cards that don't that came in supplemental products that don't actually have foil versions. So this is Demonic Tutor non-foil, Snuff Out non-foil, Liliana's Influence non-foil, Liliana's Spoils non-foil, Dread Summons, Famine, Baleful Force, and Desiccated Naga non-foils. So those are the cards that don't have foil versions, but that's okay. I like, I like having what I have already. And now we're going to get into cards that directly have Liliana in the picture. Let's see if I can start doing it this way, looking through the camera as I do it. Dark Dabbling, Endless Obedience, Rise from the Grave, Diabolic Tutor, Necromantic Summons, Liliana's Mastery, um, I have a foil on the way, so I'll set that aside. Uh, Macabre Waltz, Oath, Triumph of Cruelty, Caress. Now, not all of these cards are good, as you'll see when I get into my removal later on, but they're still awesome cards. Uh, Dark Petition, Tutor, Leon's Indignation. Um, you can kill someone with it. Unholy Hunger, Removal, Final Parting, Removal, Dark Salvation, Removal, and Zombie Generation. Killing Wave, Alternate Art, She Hates Angels, if you read the fl flavor text of the other one. Liliana's Defeat, it's, you know, it's kind of sad in a Liliana deck, but it does get rid of other Black Planeswalkers. Tainted Remedy with Josu Vess, oh, poor guy, before he turns into the Lich King, Lich Knight. 
uh, lick. Either way, settle the score, cemetery recruitment, cruel revival here on Innistrad, original Innistrad, Rise of the Dark Realms, foil, and now I'm getting into my flavor text Liliana cards. So we have a flesh to dust removal, Liliana flavor. Um, I believe this is her brother, Josu, uh, Lix Mastery. Disentomb flavor, Liliana Shade, foil flavor, ulcerate flavor. Ah, Josu, yes. The brother. Undying Evil. This card is freaking awful, but it does have Liliana Vest flavor text. Mutilate, Reef Soul, still removal. Duress, which is shitty foiling from the Graveborn set, but it's kind of hard. They're kind of hard to get, so I, that's the one I bought. Razaketh's right. Um, this one technically isn't Liliana's flavor, but this is her battle with Razaketh. Um, Mind Rot, Dreads, or Dreadshade is the House of Vest. This is the last thing that on Dominaria that they fought, the last shade that they fought while. Uh, Muldrotha fought against whoever it was that was attacking the Weatherlight. Uh, Liliana's Reaver, sweet card, foil death touch, put zombies into the battlefield. Chain Veil is Liliana's Chain Veil. Liliana's Elite foil. Ugh. Now these are also the clear Dragon Shield mats, the clear purple mats that they just came out with, and they're really sweet with with double sleeve. Like they have a good hefty feel and they're kind of purple glittery I, it's weird but for a Liliana deck I kind of like them uh, here we have a weird card in here because it's not actually Liliana cards these are going to be replaced um, I have a Torment of Hellfire I mean she is a slave of Bolas so I mean it is a win condition and this is just a card I had and I'm waiting to get a better Liliana card but it's a zombie I mean, it just kind of creates more zombies, which is something Liliana wants to do. Um, so that those are the things that can be replaced. Mana rocks that have nothing to do with Liliana. Soul Ring, Jet Medallion, Ashnod's Altar. Uh, I'm still waiting on a... <sighs> What's the diamond? The... The Charcoal Diamond. I'm still waiting on Charcoal Diamond. Cabal Stronghold to add Black Mana, Detection Tower so I can kill things with spot removal. Temple of the False Gods. And then I believe I play 33 Swamps. These are my favorite swamps. Uh, the Dan Frazier uh, Onslaught art. So I wish they had tons in foil, but they're like $8 a piece in foil, and for 33 of them, that's expensive. So maybe at some point in the future, but for now, just 33 beautiful Onslaught same art foils. I don't want to have two of a certain type of art, and then a random one from Amonkhet, and then a random one from Kaladesh. I hate that nonsense in Commander decks. But some people don't care, some people do. So I guess I'm just one of the ones that do. But thank you for checking this out. Um, the most expensive card in the deck is like a $45 Demonic Tutor. But it still has Liliana, so I can't really complain. But thanks for checking out the deck tech, and if you have questions or comments, please feel free to Drop one below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.